The importance of proper airflow over the heat exchanger cannot be overemphasized. One of the most common causes of heat exchanger failure is overheating due to low airflow. To determine if the airflow is correct, make a temperature rise check. Insert a thermometer in the supply air duct as close to the furnace as possible, yet out of line of sight of the heat exchanger. Insert a thermometer in the return air duct as close to the furnace as possible. Fire the furnace. When the thermometer in the supply air duct stops rising, subtract the return air temperature from the supply air temperature. The difference is the temperature rise. Compare the measured temperature rise to the approved temperature rise range listed on the furnace nameplate. If the measured temperature rise is above the approved range, the airflow is too low. More air must be moved either by speeding up the blower or removing restrictions in the duct system. If the measured temperature rise is below the approved range, the airflow is too high. Use a lower speed tap on the multi-speed blower. Ideally, the measured rise should be in the middle of the range. Causes for a too high temperature rise are the same as for tripping limits. A dirty or restricted air filter, a dirty or restricted cooling coil, undersized or restricted return air system, undersized or restricted supply air system.